hi guys welcome to my youtube channel guys have you ever reached a point is it a point of no return hey <laughs> have you ever reached that stage where you are done 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 completely finished completely <laughs> you are completely what you are down 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 completely financially and you get to a point where you don't even think there is a way out i reached that point myself one time and it is not even one time but this particular time that i'm going to talk about i reached a point i didn't know that god is going to bring me out of that situation it happened that i was very good uh in business uh, i still am <laughs> In my small way, I still am. And I was doing well in my standards. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you, when you talk about doing well, and there's somebody who owns the world. There's somebody who owns everything. And here you are telling people, okay, I was doing well. But let me tell you, in my standard, in my class and my category, I was doing well because I was putting food on the table. I was paying my rent. I was able to buy nice clothes and nice shoes. And those are the days I did not even have a child. I was a young girl and I, I <laughs> let me tell you, when you are young, <laughs> you go through temptations and God has to allow you to pass through. A young person who has never gone, okay, is there any young person who has never gone through an issue financially to a point where you, you are at zero, zero, zero? I think God allows this to happen uh, in order for you to learn a lesson early in life. What do you think, guys? Because let me tell you, as I was narrating my situation um, to my friend, she told me, ah, even me, I went through a situation. And she started narrating to me. Do you know her situation was almost similar like mine, similar to mine. And I was like, I also have known a situation with my family member who was also, who was also, uh, I mean, uh, going through a situation at one time in her youth. I also know another family member still who still and another cousin and another relative. Let me tell you, these situations in this life, I think life just fluctuates. And I'm just here asking myself, why why in that age bracket at that, that age bracket of uh, between between 19 20 up to 25, you are expected to go through a very, very, very tough, tough situation guys and i did <laughs> let me talk about my situation i did that is a i did not even have a child but i had uh, actually gotten the job that i spoke to uh, i spoke about here in this channel um, a job that i worked and then my job uh, ended and uh you know having gotten used to town life and there you had a job you have lost it you do not just rush to retreating to the village. You, you, you kind of, you know, you are now used to, to the town life. You kind of um, stick in the, in the town for some while so that you can look for another job. And that is what I did. As I was looking for another job, guys, I was not very fortunate. And here I am in a rented house. I'm only single, but guys, I could not raise money to even pay for that single room of mine. It was a single room, remember? A single room where I had put the bed here and a stove there with my two sufrias, I told you. And in the previous video, I did a video about how I got sick while in that single room. But this time, I'm, I'm remembering the time I, I could not even raise money for food when I'm just single like this. Let me tell you, how a morning comes. <laughs> It is daybreak and you do not even have money for milk. Leave alone milk, you can even take, we call it tulungi, but uh, I don't black tea. But let me tell you, you don't even have money for sugar. Then you are hoping to get a job. You don't want to go back to the village. You are a young girl. How do I go back to the village, guys? When will I ever even get a, if I go, if I went back to the village, how would I even have gotten another job? You know, you weigh situations and you look at it like, ah, no. Going back to the village is like going back to zero. So I would rather be in the town center 
or in the town where I'm working, uh, looking for a job, tamaking, instead of going to the village, because there's no hope in the village. <laughs> there's no hope in the village. But in the, in the town, there's hope. There are many people, there are many opportunities, and guys, I still would advise somebody not to go back to the village. Don't go back to the village if you are looking for a job. Trust God and pray. And I still insist on prayer all the time. Trust God and pray. And God is going to provide unto you. So the, in my case, I sat. I was sat. I stayed in the house for about four months, guys. Four months without a job. And uh, I'm a young girl of uh, 21 years. And here I am, a born-again Christian. I'm very prayerful. I am trusting upon God. And there are sometimes God shut, shuts the doors and windows of heaven for a reason. To test you. To see whether you are going to fall on the other side. You have to be tested. In this, even the devil tested Jesus. Remember when the devil took Jesus on top of the mountain and asked him to drop, to drop himself down that the angels are going to, pick to, 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 to hold him. That he doesn't bang his foot against a stone. Do you remember that story of the Bible? And the devil was, was very surprised because Jesus did not, did not fall into temptation. So sometimes God tests us. And I was there without a job. And uh, let me tell you, I could lock myself in the house. I was waking up every morning to prayer. My breakfast used to be prayer. You have slept the whole night. Last night, I did, I, you might not have eaten something good. Then you sleep in the morning, you are waking up, you do not even have anything to put in the mouth. So I was waking up to prayer and water. I could pray and pray and pray, locking myself in that uh, single room of mine. I could pray. And uh, for about two hours, that is the time we, we believed uh, in, in very long prayers. You could pray for, the longer you prayed, the more you knew that you have touched the heart of God. And it is still still a very, very practical, pr practicable. Yes, pray for long hours. And uh, God still hears even those short prayers. Do not despise your short prayers also. Once you are precise to the point and you tell God what you want, God still hears. So I was waking up to prayer and I could take water and feel very hungry by midday. And I could just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a nice a nice young girl with a slim body. I think as those small slim bodies are able to persevere hunger because I could just uh, tie my, a belt on, on, on my waist, tighten it. After prayer, midday, I could walk and tarmac and go to town. Uh, fortunately, I was living in an area uh, where I could walk to town. You remember I have not eaten anything. And guys, let me tell you something. Have you ever go walked to town? And when you get to town, you see these uh, fast food uh, places. Chicken is roaring <laughs> around in the mirror. It's roaring around chicken. Chips is there. Fish is there. And you are so hungry, guys. <laughs> Gone are the days, oh my god, oh yeah. I just remember that I felt a tear in my eye. I walked to town, I have gone now to look for a job. I was entering shops and asking if I can get a sales job. Somebody told me sales jobs are very, very available in most, in most cases because you'll find somebody who wants a shop assistant. So uh, I could go and enter shops and ask, oh, excuse me, good, good morning, good afternoon. My name is this and that, and I'm looking for a job. And somebody would ask me, ah, uh, what job do you want? And I would say, anything, be it sales, uh, anything, I, I, I'm good at selling. And then they would ask me, where did you go to college? And I, I would, you know, I narrated to you that, uh, <laughs> how I had evaded college there, although I later went, but uh, that time I had not even entered any college. And I was like, oh, I did my, my fourth form. And um, my parents were not able to take me to, the, to college, and here I am looking for a job. And hey, you would, somebody would tell you, okay, sorry, we don't have any vacancy at the moment. Maybe you can pass later, and you'd go to the next show. So in the course of, in the, in the course of uh, moving around, you'd see chicken rolling on the, in the chicken, fish and chips uh, uh, fast food places, and you'd feel hungrier. Hungrier guys, have you ever been hungry to a point that we look at food like this and you feel like you can break into that shop and 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 and, and or you, <laughs> you feel like you can enter there and borrow food, and this is a place where they sell, so they cannot even give you guys. So um, I lived a life for some four months, 
a very difficult life. Most of the times I could go, uh, move around town, move around town. I don't get anything. Then I walk back to the house. And remember, I'd woken up two quarter, and um, there is a um, maize that is roasted by the roadside. Even today, there are people who roast maize uh, by the roadside as you walk to or from town. You'll find a few by the roadside. And I could just pass there and I look at that maze and I did not even have a shilling. Oh, I don't know whether it is. Then it was like a shilling to have a piece cut from the, the maze comb. Just a piece. You could have a piece of a shilling cut for you and you chew it on your way home. And um, there's a time I, 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 I survived on that because I, I remember one time I went to, to town to look for a job and when I didn't get I happened to bump, her, uh, to bump on my cousin who was working in the city center and she was like, oh, you are here. Oh, let me show you where I work. Let me she come with me. I show you where I work. And I told her I was looking for a job and she was like, okay, if I'm here, I'll call you for one. So when we went to her place, um, uh, she showed me where she worked and she was okay. She had a pay. She was doing well. So I... When she was uh, bidding me buy so that she can continue working, you know, you don't call a, a friend to your place of work and then you give them seats to sit there while you are working. Even your boss will ask you, why are you entertaining friends during the working hours? So I sat with her just for a short while and uh, she told me, okay, uh, okay, I said, uh, now you can leave so that I can continue working. And when I realized that she was not offering anything, I requested. I requested that she assist me with some little money, which I will refund when I get a job. So my cousin uh, generously gave me about uh, 500 shillings then. And that was a lot of money. Ooh, guys, it was a lot of money then. So do you know what I did, guys? I said I held that money like this with my hand. And I prayed for it. And I said, I will still continue walking. I will still continue working when I have this money in my hand. But all that I will do is that I'll be buying a piece of maize, roasted maize on the, on the streets as I'm walking to town as a, and as I'm walking back in the evening. But as for walking, I'll continue walking. I'll never take a matatu. A matatu is the public transport uh, means to town. So I continued walking, but now with money. And that money saved me a lot because I used it for a very long time. But now, guys, let me tell you, I didn't even get a job in the first month, even the second month, even. The... But in the third month, I remember getting a ka job. I got a ka, a ka job of uh, sweeping. Uh, there's a shop that I, I asked if I could get, be given a job, and they said, okay, uh, young girl, ah, you, you look so, so thin. Uh, my stomach had sunk. My stomach had I wish it is. Mm, sorry, I don't want to say I wish it is today. I do not want my stomach to sink out of trouble. Although we are trying to do away with the stomachs. Hey, sometimes we want to, to swallow them inside because we don't want them to protect. But that time, there was no stomach at all at all because of trouble and hunger. <laughs> so, so, there's a, there's a, there's a, a prince that I went to for a job and they asked me, Oh, you're a young girl, you're a stomach, you don't even have a stomach. Are you going to be able to do the job if I offer you one? And I was like, just offer me the job and you'll see. So uh, I remember that was a gentleman and he said, okay, from tomorrow you can come. We agreed on, on a some pay, not mandre, daily. And we agreed on some pay. And she told me, from tomorrow you can be coming. My wife is pregnant. Then you can be coming to clean the, this place here. You In the morning you come and mop. You clean the counters. You wash the dust coats. It was like a, a shop where they used to sell spare parts, car spare parts. And at the counter, because of them uh, sitting, uh, I mean, uh, leaning on the on the counter f for many hours, you know, the way you, you, if you are a salesperson, you are always at the counter, waiting to sell to the passerby. So their coats, their dust coats, used to be dirty here, on the arms, the collar, and uh, she was, uh, he was like, you'll be coming here every morning, and you'll be washing these dust coats and cleaning uh, the counter, and uh, dusting the office, and uh, I'll give continue telling you what to do when you, as you proceed. So on the third month is when I got that job. But guys, let me tell you, uh, that job also saved me with rent because the, remember the very first month, I did not, um, the very first month I did, I just, it's when I was really going hungry. Hungry as in I, I thought I would die of hunger. 
There are days I could walk to town and back, not eat anything, drink water. Then when I come back in the evening, there's still nothing to eat. And I remember there's a time I went to bed without eating anything. But it is no surprise. When the, the, we are in church and we are fasting for seven days, we don't eat anything. We just drink water and we survive. So that time I was not fasting, but I was hungry, guys. I was very, very hungry. And I could just go to bed and sleep would not come. My stomach could make those noises of hunger. And things were like running in my stomach. Like if I am having some insects, some things, some animals in my stomach because of hunger. And uh, it was the intestines. You know when the intestines are empty, you, you, you just make some funny noises in the stomach and guys hmm the, that ka job that i was given for sweeping and cleaning the counter and washing the dust coats is the one that i i got some money to pay my small rent i was paying a rent of 700 shillings and i could not even afford that 700 shillings when in the in the house but when i got that job i i did it for some time and the money that i was paid i i, I gave part of it to the landlord and they continued waiting upon me. I had spoken to them and told them what I'm going through. So they waited upon me to, to, uh, to, uh, to finish with the balance. And that is now, after uh, some time they stopped me from working and I still continued tamaking. It is now after four months when I got a job that I can now call a salary uh, job. And that is now when I, I got this uh, job that I could uh, wait for a salary at the end of the month. It was a good job I could eat. Do you know, guys, I was passing through outside there. I was passing out uh, outside a, a, a supermarket. And I could meet people coming out of the supermarket with baggage, carrying, carrying paper bags full of uh, things that I have shopped from the supermarket, walking out. And I could look at them like this and I tell God, oh God, when will I ever, will I ever enter a supermarket to shop? Guys, have you ever... Am I, am, I, am I talking about something that you people have never gone through? Guys, but anyway, God came through for me. And I thank God today that uh, after that, I got a job and uh, life continued. Please like and subscribe to this channel, Issues of Life. And uh, thank God for today, if you are okay. And remember, there are people who woke up in my situation that I was in that day and those days. And... As you walk out there, as you are meeting them and you don't know, because they don't go shouting. <laughs> you will meet them, but you will not know. They don't go shouting, they don't tell it, but people go through so much. Guys, I love you all. Like, like, like. Subscribe, guys, I beg you. Subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.